Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Intro to Robo. So in the last video we learned about five kinds of sensor. The first was the temperature sensor which measures the temperature. The second was the ultrasonic sensor which measures the distance between the object and the sensor. We also learned about two kinds of motion sensors which was the PIR sensor and the IR sensor. The last sensor which we learned was the flex sensor. I also gave a homework in which if the distance between the object and the sensor was 100 cm or above 100 cm the buzzer would, would not ring but if the distance would be below 100 cm then the buzzer would ring so now let me show you the code so first we needed to create a variable then we can also find two more blocks created uh, along with it now we will uh, add the block read ultra ultrasonic distance sensor on trigger pin and echo pin and change the number of the pin according to our connection then we will use the if else statement and then with the math block we will say that if the distance is lesser or equal to 100 then the ultrasonic then the buzzer will ring or else it will not ring so now let me start the simulation so you guys can understand So as you can see that the object is above 100 cm so the buzzer was not ringing now when I'm bringing it down it is ringing as the distance between the object and the sensor has reduced. Now again I'm bringing it on top and it is not ringing. So in today's video we will have, we'll be learning more about the PIR sensor. So first let me just remove the ultrasonic sensor. Now you can search for the PIR sensor here and then drag it and drop it. So as you can see that the sensor has three pins. The first is the signal which is connected to the digital pin. The second is the power which is connected to the 5 volt and the ground is connected to the ground of the Arduino. So now we will make our connections. Remember that the color of the wire connecting the digital pin and the power is usually red and the one connecting the ground is usually black. The PIR sensor can only detect the object if it moves. Even if the object is inside the range of the sensor, it cannot detect it unless it moves. So the system which we will be making today is like a security system. So in this, if the sensor detects any object, the red LED will blink and the buzzer will ring. If it does not detect any object moving, then the green LED will glow. So I'll, you can take two LEDs. The buzzer is actually not required to be connected to a resistor. It will not be damaged with the direct flow of current. But the LEDs need to be connected to a resistor as they might get damaged. With real components, we require different resistors for different components. So we will connect the negative terminal of our LEDs to the resistor. Now I will connect the positive terminal of the LEDs to the digital pins. Now moving to the code part, first we will go to control and use the if else block. Now we will go to math and use this block. The PIR sensor when detects an object is usually high and when it does not detect any object is low. So first let me change the color of my LED. You can click on the LED and then click on the arrow to see various options and change the color of the LED. Now we will go to input and then use this block, read digital pin and I will change the pin number to which the, my sensor is connected that is 2. So according to the code if digital pin 2 is high so again we will go to math and before that we will change the sign to equal to.
now you will use the last block high or low so if the digital pin 2 is equals to high then the red led should blink and the buzzer should ring but the green led should be off so now we will code these components first we will set our buzzer to high which is connected on 3 then we will code our red led that is connected on 8 we want it to blink so we will put delays in between now we will set this to low as we want it to blink and finally our green LED will be turned off that is connected on the pin 9 now we have to code them in the opposite way so for, again we will go to output and use the same blocks set pin to high or low So now first we will turn our buzzer off, that is connected on 3, change it to low and then our red LED is connected on 8, again change it to low and finally our green LED which is connected on 9 will be high. So now our code is ready and you can run the simulation so you can understand what we did. So you can click on the sensor to see the object and when you move the object you can see that the thing will uh, the red LED will blink and the buzzer will ring. Now it is green as the object was still. Now it is red and the buzzer is also ringing. Now even if it, it is inside the range and you stop the object from moving you can see that the green LED is again glowing. But if you move it, now you can see that the red LED is blinking and the buzzer is also ringing. To make projects using other sensors and also to understand how they work, please watch my previous video and also my upcoming video. So we are come to an end to my video guys. Hope you guys liked it. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comment section. Bye.